All right, here we are. I dropped the bumper that I made down, and I just dropped the grill down and zip tied it as well. I did not want to take those off because I've got wires running to the turn signals in those uh, LED lights I've got. I didn't feel like unwiring those if we don't have to. Cut the center core support out right here. That way we got more room to get the motor through. Instead of having to come down and in, we can do more of a straightforward angle in. This center support here, right here, I'm probably gonna have to modify to fit the oil pan. Uh, okay, then we've got our original, or the original, motor mounts went. Uh, I'm gonna have to do some research on that. It may be best to cut those out. Um, if I can leave them in there and modify something, that would be great, but more than likely I'm gonna have to cut those out. Now if you look, the motor on these Nissans sit a couple inches over towards the passenger side, so the tunnel is slightly to the left, motor mounts are slightly to the left, so that's just the way that is. That's the way the new motor will sit as well. But some slight modifications coming up. Blood, sweat, and tears. Had blood and sweat, no tears just yet. All right, let's talk a little bit about what is going on here. What did you acquire? All righty. So we've been working a little bit of overtime and we've treated ourselves to our K2 
candidate for our LS swap in the hard body. What we have here is a 5.3 out of a 2007 Yukon. The guy totaled it out. The insurance company told him it wasn't worth saving. Something about bit the frame, did damage to the frame. So he parted it, he's parting it out. He was gracious enough to sell me this motor, this transmission. I've got to go back and get the computer and the harness for it. Okay. So I am going to do a build cost on this build in 2023. Hopefully it's just 2023 and not 2024 and 2025 and 2026. Hopefully we get this done, hopefully in a couple months. Okay, so 2023 realistic price, somewhat realistic price, to do an LS swap. I, uh, I was one of the suckers that was convinced that LS swapping was pretty cheap. Eh, it's not as cheap as you think. If you live in a junkyard, live at your uncle's junkyard and he's got thousands and thousands of cars and you can get a motor and a transmission and a computer and harness all that for free, a donor radiator, donor fuel system, then yeah, it might be cheap. But for the average Joe that doesn't live there, it's gonna still cost you some money. I got a super great deal on this, okay? For the motor, just the motor, was $850. For the transmission, another $500. Harness and computer is gonna cost me another $300. So, I'm gonna go do a total build-up sheet on this. All the things going into the vehicle and all the tools that I'm buying to do this swap. I'm not gonna include tools we already have. So I'm going to include the, going to include the hoist from Harbor Freight. I think that was $44, I got that on sale. Uh, then I got the engine stand. I think I paid $80. It's normally $100. I got it on sale. Motors $850. Trans is $500. That's what we have so far. I got to wait till next paycheck to get the um, harness and computer. Sometime down the line, I'm going to have to get, we're going to have to work on fuel cell or fuel, fuel pump, fuel, however we're going to do the fuel. Got to do something for the coolant, radiator, etc., cetera, uh, and any other things. So we're going to do a tally up at the end for complete price. All right. I got to get a, um, this is just sitting on here. I've got to get a lift plate for the top of this. Uh, so it's a little bit easier to lift with the hoist. Right now it's kind of crooked and janky. So I need to get one of those. I think I got one off of Amazon. That was, uh, I wanna say $38, so that will add that. Um, I'm gonna have to get a new oil pan. There's nothing wrong with this oil pan, it's just deep. That oil pan is too deep, so I'm gonna get a shallow oil pan, which will bring the bottom up a little bit make it fit in our Nissan just a little bit better. So, before I go and throw this into the Nissan, I've gotta get that lift plate, and I've gotta get that pan, and I've gotta weld that cross member that we saw at the beginning of the video. Uh, so it sits up about two inches, you cut it, add some gussets, flip it over, add some gussets. That'll drop it close to two inches. That gives us a little more room for the oil pan when we put it in there. I get those items done. We will try to hook the transmission back up to this, try to sneak it into the truck and see what we have to do for motor mounts. It'd be really sweet to keep the stock ones. I mean, these are upgraded ones, but they're still stock motor mounts. Be really great to keep the factory components that way you could go to any old junkyard if they ever wore out or AutoZone or whatever and get you another set 
but we may have to go with the universal ones for the LS swaps off of AutoZone. But that's what we got to do. Is that it? Let me think about this for a minute. Um, let me talk about the motor. Like I said, it was a 5.3, but it's not just a stock 5.3. It has a stage two cam. I'm not sure the uh, vendor that did that. It's got a DOD delete, which means this thing used to be fuel economic where it would shut four cylinders off and keep four running uh, for fuel economy. But over time that can be bad for your motor. So this person had that deleted. It's called a DOD delete with the valley tray something something something. I'm not sure about all that and you know more about that than I probably do. Uh, it's got new timing chain, new timing gear, new harmonic balancer, new uh, bolt for that, and some other accessories. Uh, it's got a new AC compressor, newer. We're not going to be running that though. I don't have AC in that truck. I don't really feel like working on that. It has a new power steering pump. Uh, I don't have power steering in that truck. I'm not going to worry about that. So that's going to be gone, and that's going to be gone. That will leave us with the alternator. We'll have to figure out where to put the alternator and we'll have to get a new belt, shorter belt. And that should give us a little room, more room in the engine bay. So that's where we're standing. Thank you for watching. Alright, we're going to call this video a wrap. Finished our cross member here. So we flipped it and notched it so that our oil pan will fit better right here. Now, I want to give a shout out to, uh, let's see here, OE Garage. I've watched a few of their videos on doing this, getting this motor in here. We're going to do it slightly different because we're putting an automatic transmission in. They put a manual transmission in. So I've been watching some of their videos for some of these ideas, such as this one here. So check their channel out. I'll try to put it the channel name down below. Another channel I've been watching is uh, Slower Than You. I'll try to put their name down below. They don't show too much of putting a motor in this truck, but they've got a pretty nice uh, LS swapped Nissan it's uh, got the same motor 5.3 in it but it's got a humongous turbo in it and it is very fast and will pull the wheels off the ground so check it out he actually sold it so he doesn't own that vehicle anymore but he's got some great videos check that channel out as well